Hello everyone, good to see you again. Um, today we're just going to make something very fast, quick, simple, whatever we have in the house to cook. We're still here in the house because of the coronavirus and we're doing whatever, if we can imagine. I'm going to make um, something very, very savory, a bit on the spicy side, um, very good, delicious, and I'm going to spread it on a nice slice of toast nice sourdough and then we're gonna eat it that way what we're doing for that is some garlic here's some fresh garlic and again I'm using whatever we have in the house a nice garlic um, sliced red onion I've already sliced everything save a little bit of time here let that brown just a bit I don't want it to brown actually I just want it to cook just a bit and I'll start putting everything up very simple dish very tasty very savory so some garlic some onion some tomato paste a little bit of anchovies here those are anchovies and oil some one jalapeno a couple of small tomatoes diced and of course our seasoning uh, this is our own homemade herb and garlic seasoning I did mention the, paint, the small can of tomato paste, three small mushrooms, those are very firm portobello mushrooms, the smaller ones, and three celery stalks, just a singular celery stalk, and, and some lemon juice, salt and pepper to taste, and that's about it, basically. So this is looking fantastic now, it smells great. So next I'm going to add my anchovies. Here I have about a can of small anchovies, you can add less if you want. And these are salted, so when you add salt, add a little bit less salt, because these are um, salted already. And this is going to be very, 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 very savory dish. Um, I'm going to add my my herb and garlic seasoning that we make right here. Please see the video for that, and this is very good. And easy to make, and delicious, and it adds flavor to everything. And you can keep it in the fridge for as long as you want. And look how fresh it still looks. My celery and mushrooms. Jalapenos. And that's optional. You don't have to add the jalapenos. But you see, I removed the seeds. And the white veins from inside, so a lot of the heat is gone. And you should smell this out of this world. Now, if you like, you can also add some pitted olives to this. It's a very Mediterranean flavor, but I don't have any pitted olives right now, but you can add it. The good combination here is the anchovies, the garlic, and the onion, and the tomato. And of course, now I'm going to add my tomato paste. This is very quick, it doesn't take too long to make this. And we can serve this on a slice of toast or some sourdough dumplings that you fry after, like the ones we made before. You can watch those videos and see. Now I'm going to add my tomato. And not that I'm encouraging drinking or anything, but this goes very well with a nice drink. Like a beer or um, you know, a nice spirit on ice. It's fantastic. Well, just like this on its own with a glass of wine. I'm going to put my pepper, black pepper, and a bit of salt. Not a lot of salt because anchovies are already very salty. Very quick, very easy, fresh. I wish I had those pitted olives. Now I'm going to add my lemon juice. And of course, I'm going to taste for salt. I'm going to 
lower my heat just a little bit to medium. And doesn't that look absolutely out of this world? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Mediterranean dish. Could be an appetizer, could be a nice snack, could be a late night snack as well. And we're almost done here. Now this has been simmering on low heat for about seven, eight minutes. I'm just gonna taste it, I think it's done. Seasoning's perfect, it doesn't need anything else. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. And look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Now I know it's gonna taste delicious. Put it on our serving dish here. And please don't make a mess like I'm making here. nice slice of sourdough bread that I'm toasting for a bit and uh, take my shared little piece and try it out. Mm. I can't wait to try this. So this is our sourdough bread that we make here. Um, this has flax seed and poppy seed in it and some anise seed actually. It has the three seeds. And, and you can see those videos as well. Very Mediterranean, very, very savory. Lots of flavor. And I can see everything is still crunchy, but well cooked. Just want to cut a piece of this. See, our sourdough bed is fantastic. It cuts perfectly. Mmm. I'm having this with just a regular bold, any good old bold red wine because it's very bold and you need a strong, nice flavor of the wine. And it's delicious out of this world. Again, something very simple and tasty and delicious and a good change. Something different. Mm -hmm. And healthy. Please do give it a try like subscribe and share our videos and until next time please practice uh, social distancing and be safe and healthy and i'll see you soon bye for now